Our family has spanned the centuries and the globe. With God's grace, we started hospitals to care for the sick. We established orphanages and helped the poor. We are the largest charitable organization on the planet, bringing comfort to those in need. We educate more children than any other institution. We developed the scientific method and founded the college system. We defend the dignity of human life and uphold marriage. Guided by the Holy Spirit, we compiled the Bible. We are transformed by sacred scripture and sacred tradition, which have guided us for 2,000 years. We are the Catholic Church, with over one billion in our family, sharing in the sacraments and fullness of the Christian faith. Jesus started our church when he said to Peter, the first pope, you are rock, and upon this rock I will build my church. So if you've been away from the Catholic Church, we invite you to take another look. Visit catholicscomehome.org today. We are Catholic. Welcome home. Our family has spanned the centuries and the globe. With God's grace, we started hospitals to care for the sick. We established orphanages and helped the poor. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we pray for the special intentions of grade 12A and their advisor Marlon Ocfemia. And also we pray for the healing of uh, Lope and 
his wife, the Gustilius families for their safety and protection from the COVID-19. And also for the soul of uh, Lena Carmen, the wife of my classmate who died last night. And uh, for all our intentions, those who are entrusted to our prayers, especially those who are struggling in their lives because of fear and uncertainties in life. We bring them to the loving mercy and grace of God, our Father. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins and be sorry for them. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are our hope and the source of healing and forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Today we celebrate the memorial of Andrew and Paul and companions, all Koreans martyred for the spread of the faith in Korea. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyr Saint Andrew, Kim Taegon, and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. To Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the beginning of the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, All the kingdoms of the earth the Lord, the God of heaven, has given to me, he has also charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Therefore, whoever among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up and may his God be with him. Let everyone who has survived in whatever place he might have dwelt be assisted by the people of that place with silver, gold, goods, and cattle, together with free will offerings for the house of God in Jerusalem. Then the family heads of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and Levites, everyone that is whom God had inspired to do so, prepared to go up to build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All their neighbors gave them help in every way with silver, gold, goods, and cattle, and with many precious gifts besides all their free will offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done marvelous for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvelous for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is very appropriate that we reflect on the Gospel in the light of the memorial that we do for our saints today, St. Andrew and Companions in Korea. It is very difficult now to get saints who are martyred for the sake of the faith. And these Koreans were martyred for the sake of the faith, and that is rare in, in Korea. And so we normally understand saints as people who are martyred and tortured and put to death because of their faith. But in the gospel, we see the, the value of discovering the true saint, the true Christian, by the standard of what the Lord has said in the parable or in, in this narrative. We need people who are heroes in our lives, people who become our guide, our inspiration, our source of hope. And these are the saints. It reminds me of a child asking the mother inside the church when an image of a person was reflected upon the child so clearly because of the sunlight. And so the child was asking the mother, Mother, who is that person too bright to appreciate? And the mother told the child, He is a saint through which the light of God shines into the world. And that should be a beautiful imagery of a saint, a Christian. We become lights. We become the instrument through which God's grace and lights are shown to people. And so Pope Francis, in his latest statement, is true. When he said, I rather choose atheists who never go to the church, but who do good things in the world, rather than Christians or Catholics who go to church and never reflect the fundamental value of what they discover in the church. And that's what we are, Christians reflecting the light of God in the world, in whatever situation that we find ourselves in. Amen. Let us all stand and pray. Light is a basic need of life. A lamp is put on a lampstand so that those who enter the house may see the light. Jesus compared his disciples to a lighted lamp to emphasize their importance and mission to the world. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, let us be a lighted lamp set on a lampstand. May we counsel the doubtful and moaning sinners, comfort the afflicted, and bear patiently those who do us ill, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us be like a light to the world and a city set on a mountain. May we be a firm support to others in moments of doubt, fear, trials, and temptations, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we not conceal our gifts, but use them for the service of others, so that this may not be taken away, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our light shine before others, directing them not to our own selves, but to you who alone are the source of lights and blessings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we not be afraid to stand for honesty and truth, for you see what lies in secret and reveal everything in its proper time, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray. For the family of Testung, Gustilio family, Carmen family, Almighty Father, Jesus, your Son, is the light of the world and the conqueror of death. Help us to imitate him, to do good for your glory and for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it may become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, bless you, bless you, bless you. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may truly become great and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Dwell with Francis of Pope and Jose, think of our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray together as one Christian family with the prayer the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other design of peace. Peace, peace, peace with you. Peace with Jesus. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have Jesus. mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who are called to the heavenly supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Jesus, bring us always to life everlasting. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father, says the Lord. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the love and peace of Jesus our Lord. Thanks be to God. before the light of the word and the spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all.